Our guide to the best things to do in Bordeaux showcases its incredible historic cityscape. The capital city of the new Aquitaine region is unsurprisingly best known for its wine-related activities. You can tour various vineyards and sample top-notch wine labels, but that's not all the area has to offer. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Bordeaux. And just wait till you see what's at number 3, something you may not even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So without further ado, let's cut to the chase. At 10, Saint-Pierre District. Hop from restaurants to bars in Bordeaux Old Town. Adjacent to the Place de la Bourse, Saint-Pierre District is as lively by night as it is by day. You'll find plenty of restaurants and bars to make your evening. Among the recommendable venues in this area, you should definitely have a glass of wine at Le Bar à Van on Cours de Trente Juillet. If you fancy an evening in a warm and festive South American ambiance, head to Calais Ocho, Café Cubano on Rue Pilier de Tutelle. Last but not least, go to the Houses of Parliament on Rue Parlement Saint Catherine to enjoy a genuine English pub atmosphere. At 9, Museum of Aquitaine. Explore one of the largest French history museums. The Museum of Aquitaine shows you the history of Bordeaux and of its region from the Stone Age to the 19th century through a good variety of exhibits. Controversially, the displays include reflections on French colonialism and the relation between Bordeaux and the slave trade. From splendid model ships to Montaigne's tomb, the museum is home to rare artefacts and objects as well as a reconstruction of an early 20th century grocer's shop. It's a nice place to visit upon arrival in Bordeaux to get into the mood of the region. At 8, Rue Saint-Catherine. Go window shopping on one of the longest pedestrian streets in Europe. Rue Saint-Catherine is the most famous shopping street in the centre of Bordeaux. Stretching for over one kilometre from the Place de la Comédie to the Place de la Victoire, it's considered one of the longest pedestrian streets in Europe. Here you'll find an astonishing choice of boutiques, stores and shopping malls selling almost anything. Bars and restaurants interspersed between the shops for a quick breather offer opportunities to take a break as well as providing excellent people-watching spots and maybe a glass of wine. At 7, Port of the Moon. Take a refreshing riverside walk in a World Heritage Site. Port de la Lune, Port of the Moon, is the nickname given to the crescent-shaped Port of Bordeaux along the Garonne River. Stretching from the Quai de Bacalan to the Quai de Paludat in the centre of the city, the Port of the Moon incorporates the Place de la Bourse and the Quays Market. Lined with quaint boutiques, chic bars and restaurants, it's a very pleasant and classy area to wander around. That's to its historical beauty, it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2017. At 6, Bordeaux Cathedral. Travel back in time at this 11th century landmark. Originally built in Roman style in the early 11th century, Bordeaux Cathedral went through the tumultuous history of France and was almost entirely rebuilt in Gothic style during the 14th century. Declared a national monument of France, it's home to an impressive art collection dating from between the 14th and 17th centuries that includes statues, paintings and religious artefacts and ornaments. Being right in the centre of Bordeaux, you'll find a good choice of cool bars and restaurants nearby. Guided tours are available. And now at 5, Key Market. Do not miss this riverside fresh market held on Sundays. The Marche des Quay is the perfect place to discover and sample fresh and cooked products from the region of Bordeaux. Held every Sunday on the Quay des Chatron, just north of the city centre, you'll find an assortment of delicacies that include oysters, crepes, cheeses, wines and delicatessen that you can eat on the spot, along with a lot more. It's an affordable version of a five-star hotel brunch, which you can enjoy on the bank of the Garonne River. Sounds great. At 4, Parc de Majolaine. Take a stroll in a beautiful Baroque park. 
Located in Blankford, an hour's drive northeast from Bordeaux city centre, the Parc de Majolan offers a serene and unique place for a stroll in a beautiful natural environment. Designed at the end of the 19th century, the park features a four hectare lake, artificial caves and fountains and geysers designed in a baroque style. This family-friendly park features a large kids playground and animals such as swans, peacocks and coipos freely roam the place. You can lunch at La Maison de Jardinière, a cool restaurant located at the entrance of the park, or bring a picnic and find a place to lunch on the lawn. Next up at 3, Grand Théâtre de Bordeaux. Le Grand Théâtre de Bordeaux is at the same time an impressive mid-18th century neoclassical building and a lively venue that hosts operas, dance and music performances. Located on the Place de la Comédie, its façade features 12 columns on which stand nine muses and three goddess statues, making the edifice like an antique temple of the arts. Even if you don't want to see a show, you should join a guided tour to visit the theatre. The backstage areas and the sumptuous interior decor and ornaments are worth an hour of your time. And now at two, La Cité du Vin. Learn about Bordeaux wines. Head to La Cité du Vin, the wine city, on the Quai de Bacalan to learn everything about the Bordeaux Chateau and wine labels. You'll also be able to book wine tasting tours at some of the most famous chateaux in the region, like saint Emilion, Saint-Julien, Margaux and Médoc, just to name a few. Excellent wines are produced all round France, but Bordeaux is considered the wine capital of the country. Going to Bordeaux is like a journey into the rich world of wine. Yes, please. And finally, at number one, Place de la Bourse. Pay a visit to an iconic site of Bordeaux. Place de la Bourse is a historic place for Bordeaux, located in the Saint-Pierre district, right in the center of the city. Built during the 18th century, it marked the end of the medieval period for Bordeaux by expanding the city beyond the old walls. Part of the historical district of Bordeaux, the Place de la Bourse was upgraded in 2006 with the addition of the Miroir de Haut, the water mirror. The reflection of the historical buildings in the water is definitely worth a photo or two, especially at night. Have a drink on the terrace of Le Gabriel, oh go on then, a gastro restaurant located right on the square behind the Fountain of the Three Graces. And there you have the 10 best things to do in Bordeaux. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Check out more videos on France in our French Travel Guide playlist. That's all for now. Until next time.